Hey everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. So today's video is going to be the long awaited empty house tour of the house that we just bought. We just got the keys for this house yesterday so it's still sinking in that we actually own this house and we are going to be starting renovations on this house tomorrow. This house is a fixer upper but it just needs updated on the inside and the outside. We did get it inspected. Everything is great. The electrical, it's got a brand new roof, brand new water heaters, like everything is in great shape. This house just needs some minor renovations to give it a facelift to help it to look a little bit more updated so we're really excited to start those renovations and I'm excited to film them all for you guys so now we are going to get straight into this house tour I'm going to show you guys everything the whole inside of the house the outside the yard the shop show you what it looks like before we start the renovations it's just going to be really neat to be able to look back and compare what it looked like before and also stay tuned a little later in the video I'm going to show you guys what specifically sold us on this house House. I also forgot to add I have a vision in my head of exactly what each room in this house is going to look like when we're done with it So hopefully you guys can see that too as I walk you through the house I'm going to try to explain in each room like the renovations that we're going to do so you guys can kind of picture in your head What it's going to look like. Okay, so we'll start here at the front of the house We will be updating the outside of the house paint landscape all that type of stuff just to give it a nice facelift I love this front porch entrance here. We'll be doing paint new light fixtures new front door package right here okay going through the front door here is what you see okay so when you first walk in the front door you can see into the kitchen dining room and the living room area but what we're gonna do starting tomorrow is knock out all of these arched walls so that this will just be one big open room which is gonna be really nice and we will be laying vinyl or laminate throughout this whole area with new trim we're getting the wall scraped and retextured and repainted right here in the entryway we've got this little cutout where I'm gonna put a bench with a big round mirror straight ahead is two glass sliding doors that go out to the back porch. We're going to eventually replace those with French doors. We brought some vinyl and laminate samples in here just to see what they would look like. But right here is the living room area, which is going to be more open once we take out these walls right here. It's got this nice fireplace down here, which I will be whitewashing the brick. And then we're going to be building like a mantle over top of the tile and here at the bottom just to cover that up. And over on the other side of the room is the dining room. We're going to be taking out these ceiling fans and doing can lights throughout the whole house. I am so excited for this dining room. I'm going to be able to fit a huge table in here. My husband has a big family, so it's going to be fun to have them all over for a meal. These sliding doors go out to the screened-in porch, which we'll go to in a minute. Okay, so here's the kitchen. It's a nice size, but it just needs some updating. I'm going to paint the cabinets, put new hardware, stainless steel appliances. We're going to be doing new countertop, backsplash. We're going to be extending this out a little bit this way and a little bit more this way so we can fit a couple of bar stools here. I'm going to put some floating shelves right here out to the end of the countertop. The theme for this kitchen is just gonna be bright and white with a few wood accents. I just can't wait to get started and I'm gonna be filming it all. So I'm standing back here by the fridge and you can just envision all of these walls gone right here and you're gonna be able to see all the way over to the fireplace and the front door. And on this end of the kitchen, you have a little walkway over into the dining room. And I was so excited when I realized that this kitchen has a walk-in pantry. I've never had a walk-in pantry in any of the kitchens in any of the houses that we We've lived in so I'm super excited for this right here we have got a closet which will probably be like coats and shoes since we're near the back door here where we go out to the carport and this door right here goes out to the screened in porch and the plan is to eventually actually make this into a fifth room we won't be doing that right away, but down the road, we would love to do that. Now we'll head back into the laundry room here. I was so grateful that the house came with these nice washer and dryer set. Right here, we've got a closet with some great storage. Then they've got these cabinets and countertop here, which I think I might eventually take this out and just do like a little built-in for the boys with like some hooks for their coats and a little bench. And then heading this way, this door here is just a water heater. And then in here, we've got this awesome really huge bonus room. This is going to be an office. This room just has so much potential, just a nice big open room with a closet over here. Okay, so heading back out of the bonus room, we're back into the laundry room and then straight ahead, we've got a full bathroom. This has toilet, little sink. And there is a little walk-in shower back here. This bathroom will be for sure getting a makeover, but it'll probably be one of the last bathrooms to get a makeover since I've got two others that I need to make over first. Okay, so let's walk back out here into the kitchen 
kitchen and then we will head back the hallway back here and I'll show you guys the bedrooms and the other two bathrooms. Okay, so right here we were thinking about taking this wall out just to widen up this hallway a little bit just because it is kind of narrow, but once we get the flooring, have the walls painted white and all the can lights in the ceiling, it's definitely going to brighten it up a lot. Right here we've got a little hall closet, which is a little bit of a walk-in closet, which is Definitely nice, lots of storage in there. Okay, here to the left is the master bedroom. As soon as you walk inside, right here to the right is the bathroom. This is a really nice size bathroom and it just needs some updates. I'm gonna do tile on the floor, new wall color, frame the mirror, new light fixture, new sinks, new countertop, and then I'll just replace the hardware and then paint this front. I'm just gonna be knocking out this whole closet, this whole wall, just so that we have this big open area right here. And this is where we're going to put a freestanding tub. And then we will leave this wall here, obviously remove the tile and repaint. This is the shower down here, and we're going to be taking this out and putting in a glass shower. So it'll be the glass shower, the freestanding tub, and then you've got toilet and sink on the other side. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. This master bedroom has no shortage of closets. Look at this, we've got one, two, three, four, literally a wall of closets, and we haven't quite decided what we're gonna do about this yet. We would love to close off about two of these doors and open up some walls in here and just like make it one big closet. We're still not sure how we're gonna do that yet though. So this is the first closet right here. It's got a sliding door. This is the next closet closet, which is a walk-in closet, lots of room in there. And then here is the next closet, lots of storage in here as well. You can see why I decided to just knock out the closet in the bathroom because we don't even need it. And then on this end is another walk-in closet, so we could each have our own walk-in closet if we wanted to. So yeah, it's just a lot of doors and a lot of closets, and we're trying to brainstorm on how we can turn this into at least just two closets. And then this is the main master bedroom in here. Bed will go right up against this wall, obviously new wall color, new flooring is going in here. And then we've got a door to outside. And through this door, we've got our own little porch out here, which is just so nice. We could do a hot tub out here. We could do some little chairs or something. And it does go around to the main back porch over there, but I'll show you that after we're done with the inside. Okay, so we'll walk back out of the master here, back all of these closets and then back out into the hallway here. Here is the third bedroom. In here we'll be doing new flooring, new trim, painting the walls, new light fixture, all of that. This is the smallest bedroom in the house, so I'll probably make this the guest bedroom. It has this really nice big closet, which will be great for storage, and then we would love eventually to replace all of the doors and the hardware in the house, but Obviously all of this is just going to take time. And here we've got the hall bathroom and it's just cosmetic in here, new flooring. I'm gonna paint this, do new hardware, new countertop, new sink, new mirror, new light fixture, new wall color, and then this bathroom will be good to go. It's got a shower tub combo in here, which looks like it's brand new. So we don't have to do anything to that, just add a shower curtain. And in this closet is the water heater for this side of the house. And then back here, this is going to be the boys' bedroom. This is a really great size room for them. And just like the other one, we'll do new flooring in here, new trim, new wall color, new light fixture, all of that. I've got a lot of really fun ideas for this room, which I can't wait to share with you guys. And back here, they have this really big closet. They can have a little hideout in the corner in here. We can just store a ton of stuff in there. Okay, and I think that is it for the house. It does have these little like baseboard heaters, which I'm not sure if we're gonna keep those yet or not. The hallway obviously will be getting new flooring, new trim, new wall color. Okay, so now we'll head back out here and now I'm gonna show you guys what sold us on this house. This is my favorite part of the whole house and it's outside. Okay, so this back porch is what sold us on this house. I can't wait to show you guys this. But first, let's just look at this view. I mean, look how beautiful that mountain looks. We can see all down into the valley there. We're gonna be pulling out some of these bushes and yucca stalks and stuff out of the backyard, but we won't be doing any landscape until this spring once everything greens up and we'll just see what all we wanna pull out. But we just absolutely love this backyard. It's just so quiet and peaceful peaceful back here. It's just a dream and the boys are just absolutely loving it. I love the views in all directions. So like I said, we're gonna paint the house eventually. So this red will be gone. We'll do landscaping. And then I would love to wrap these posts in like a stained wood. These are the steps that go down to the backyard. And then the whole porch is just these really nice pavers. I've got lots of plans for this big porch on that end. I wanna do a giant porch swing. I wanna do a sectional right here. So this side of the porch has this giant bar area and we don't know what to do with this we need your guys' opinion should we keep it should we get rid of it we don't drink so we wouldn't use it for that purpose but it would be kind of neat we're gonna have like the grill over here 
So it'd be neat to have this for like cookouts with family and friends. We could put like all of the food up here for like a buffet style or just sit out here to eat or something. I don't know. And it actually has built in speakers on either side and they just left these bar stools out here for us too. But we don't know what to do with this whole bar area. You guys can leave your suggestions down below on what you would do with it or what you think we could use it for. We are just so in love with this giant porch. This is where we're going to be living. Like we're going to be out here all the time. So this is the master bedroom over here. I showed you guys this little porch that we have right here it just connects to the main back porch this is why we bought this house look at these boys out here playing in the dirt they've got all this area to play and explore in obviously the yard needs a lot of landscaping done to it but that's just going to be a fun project this spring and summer to do so right here we've got this little brick pathway and this leads out to the fire pit area which this is a dream too just to have this fire pit area i cannot wait for all of the s'mores and the hot dogs we're going to cook out here and there's a couple of logs out here to sit on we can add some chairs as well i just can't wait for spring and summertime to see which of these plants are going to bloom and like what they are she had this neat little gate thing out here with these vines growing over it does anybody know what this plant is called is it gonna bloom this spring you guys can let me know down in the comments that would be really neat if it like bloomed with flowers but I don't know exactly what it is that shed right there is the well house we're not gonna go over there that's not too exciting but back here we do have this storage shed which I'll go show you guys the outside of the storage shed definitely needs a coat of paint but this is just gonna be great for like the lawnmower all of the gardening supplies stuff like that and just look at those views out there you can see the snow on top of the mountains and all down into the valley I haven't even explored this whole backyard yet but we've got a lot of trees back here any of the yucca stalks that you see we're going to be pulling all of those out are you boys loving your new backyard yeah yeah they have just been playing out here non-stop there also is this raised bed with like all of these little cactuses in it i definitely want to do a couple raised beds of vegetables out here there's another view of that beautiful mountain out there in the valley right over here on this side of the house is the carport and then this is the back door that goes into the laundry room so that's why i wanted to do like the built-ins for the boys there with hooks and place for their shoes because this is where they'll be coming outside and where we'll be coming in from the truck over here on this side of the carport we've got a whole nother storage area this is just a really nice big storage area off of the carport that we can store a lot of stuff in here. Maybe I could keep like a big freezer out here. I just love all of these bushes and trees. This tree here is actually starting to get little green buds on it. Now we're at the other side of the backyard. The boys are over there playing. And then over here to the left, this is still our property. Okay, so the last building is this shop, which my husband is really excited about. This is gonna be his man cave out here. He's gonna do tools and have his dirt bike out here. This is just a really nice bonus that it has this. My husband cannot wait to get out here and give this shop a makeover. We would eventually like to have a side-by-side -side and a quad for all the trails around here. So it'll be nice to have this place to store everything. So like I said, what ultimately sold us on this house was this beautiful big back porch the backyard and then that beautiful view like that is just a dream to be able to have this space outside for the boys to play for us to hang out we're just going to be living outside while we're here at this house we just love it and of course we love the house itself it just has so much potential and hopefully you guys could kind of see a little bit of the vision that i have for the house and you can kind of picture in your head what it's going to look like hopefully the next video will be us demoing out those walls so just stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of videos coming out as we give this house a makeover, as we fix it up. We're just so grateful for this house. We can't wait to make it a home and we feel so blessed to call it ours. When I'm here, I don't want to leave. Like we need to head back down to our townhouse because we're still staying there for like another month while we do the renovations. But when I come here, I just don't want to leave, especially when I'm sitting back here in the backyard because it's so peaceful and it's just... I just love it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.